Anatoly Karpov is a very good chess player. In fact, he was the 12th world champion and his reign lasted a decade, 10 years. However, in this game, he lost in only 12 moves. Pretty impressive. D4, knight f6, so we have like a sort of Nimzo Indian after e6. Knight f3, b6, preparing to fianchetto this bishop to b7. a3, and here Karpov does something a little weird. Bishop a6, he attacks this pawn. And it's not really like a good attack, because it can easily be defended after queen c2. And here Karpov just goes back. And you notice that Karpov lost a lot of tempo. He went bishop a6 and then bishop b7. And meanwhile, this queen... Uh, was forced to move to an advantageous square where it oversees a very powerful diagonal. So I wouldn't say that's one of the best moves, but we don't have to look too deeply. That's not one of his blunders. Knight c3, c5, immediately uh, striking the center, a very common move in d4 openings. e4, takes a trade on d4, and then a trade on c6. Bishop f4. And uh, Karpov plays knight h5. It's a top computer move attacking the bishop, but the bishop just goes back and what Karpov um, And it's not good to go to g3 because what Karpov wants to do is trade this uh, knight off for a powerful dark lord bishop so uh, White just moves bishop e3 now what you should do as black here is maybe uh, Queen b8 is a top computer move, but it's not a very good move queen c7 Maybe get this bishop out, uh, like, to e7 is not a bad move. Bishop c5 is not a bad move. Uh, queen c2, maybe long castle. But here, Karpov plays one of the worst moves in the position, and it's undoubtedly one of his worst blunders in any of his chess games ever. He plays bishop d6. It's not so clear why if you just look at this, but you can see that the eval bar just shot right up. Um, it just blunders a very elementary fork. Queen d1 attacking the knight and the bishop. And here, Karpov resigned. He's going to lose a piece after something like bishop e5. He's just going to lose a knight, and then now his bishop's being attacked. Oh, it's, it's crazy for a world champion to blunder such an elementary fork, but... Yeah, what can I say? Just an absolutely crazy game.